So, Betty equals Riley, Veronica equals Maya, and Archie equals Lucas? Hmm, let's talk about this. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so there's been a lot of comments that I've been getting recently that has been comparing certain Riverdale characters to certain Girl Meets World characters. And it really got me thinking, how accurate is this? So I figured it would be a fun little video if I compare some of the characters on both of the shows that some of you guys keep telling me are alike. And I figured this was also a good opportunity to you know talk a little bit more girl meets world since i don't do that much nowadays since there's nothing really new to talk about and i'm pretty much busy with riverdale so i figured i can talk a little bit girl meets world with this video while also putting out a fun little video for you guys and also i just i just have to say this if you still have not watched riverdale i mean at this point i really don't know what to tell you my constant talking of riverdale is not going to change so, unless you want to be left behind in the fun, I suggest you at least give it a try. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's start with the first comparison that I see all the time, and that is Betty Cooper is like Riley Matthews. She's the Riley Matthews of Riverdale. And this is probably, no, definitely the one that I disagree with the most. I mean, yeah, are both characters kind of goofy and bubbly? yeah but one of them is the right amount of goofy and bubbly while the other one is completely over the top betty isn't the kind of goofy and bubbly that drives you insane she isn't sunshine and rainbows and oh my god today is such a wonderful day it's even better than yesterday no that's not betty betty is like a normal kind of bubbliness like the more realistic non-disney kind that you could actually see happening in real life furthermore i actually like betty as a character like a lot so that's another way that they're like nothing alike to me and overall i just think that betty is a way more likable character in general so to wrap up my thoughts on this comparison i'm actually team betty and i I'm not much of a Riley fan other than when she's with Farkle. I actually really like Betty's personality opposed to Riley's, which I do not like. And I'm actually more in favor of Betty getting the fuck boy as opposed to Riley. So there are plenty of differences here in my opinion. And really the only similarities that I see is that they're both one of the main characters on their respective shows. And they're both involved in a triangle involving a fuck boy. And they're both a a little bit goofy although like i said before one of them is a lot more over the top than the other one is so yeah in my opinion they're way more different than they are similar so now let's get on some better comparisons that i might be able to get behind a little bit more veronica lodge is maya hart now this one i can see a lot more i feel like both characters have really really strong personalities i feel like both characters really have the ability to carry their shows both characters are really really like characters both characters are really really dominant and obviously both characters are involved in a love triangle a love triangle with a fuck boy and although i don't think it's confirmed there's also a very good chance just like maya that veronica does not end up with the fuck boy in the end despite the fact that they are the ones that probably have the best chemistry with that fuck boy although in veronica's case that could actually be argued with betty but a strong case could still be made that veronica and archie have the best chemistry just like on girl meets world you could argue it with maya and lucas although that one is not much of an argument at all it's pretty much a fact now some of the obvious differences are one of them is rich while the other one well pretty much has nothing at least financially 
Finally, one of them was brought up to be spoiled while the other one was brought up and believed to have not much of anything. So obviously that's probably the biggest difference. But outside of that, I would say that the characters are very comparable. Just like Maya Hart on Girl Meets World, Veronica is probably my favorite character. So they also have that in common, at least with me. So yeah, I mean, overall, um, I can definitely see this comparison. And also, I almost forgot to mention, they're also both very loyal to their best friends. So, I mean, yeah. Now let's get behind the comparison that's probably the most accurate and the one that I can get behind the most. And that is Archie being comparable to Lucas. Both gigantic fuck boys. Both of them are guys that are treating the girls that like them very unjustly. Just like Maya and Riley deserve better than Lucas, Veronica and Betty deserve better than Archie. They both have the same bland personality, and they both have the same lack in character development. Especially compared to all of the more very interesting characters surrounding them. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but to me, a lot of the times both characters come off to me as like I don't know robots it's almost like they're trying to show emotion but <laughs> I just don't see it. It's like a robot laughing. It's like you can hear them laughing, but you don't hear the emotion in their voice. You just see that they're being programmed to laugh. And that's kind of how it feels a lot of the time with Archie and Lucas. And as far as the differences, um, honestly, I can't really think of many. I mean, I don't think Lucas is an artist if you want to nitpick. Here's another difference that I'll give Lucas credit for. At least Lucas didn't wander from out of the triangle and add a third girl into the mix. And also, at least he actually did like both girls and didn't completely blow off one of the girl's feelings like Archie is doing with Betty. So I guess if you really think about it, you could make an argument that Archie is the bigger fuckboy of the two. I mean, I would have to think about it, but I think that's accurate. But let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. What do you guys think about these comparisons? And which of these comparisons to you are more accurate? Let me know. But I'm done talking. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. But as always, until next time.